Good morning, class. I am your teacher, Charmaine, for today. We'll have first a prayer. Monica, please lead the prayer. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Say present when your name is called Almiano, Areliano. Very good. All students are present today. Can anyone still remember that was discussed yesterday? What is the lesson all about? Very good. The lesson is all about coral reefs and tropical rainforest. What is coral reef? Be smart. Excellent. Coral reefs is a marine biome and sometimes called rainforest of the marine life. It extends from the shorelines of tropical islands and coasts to the deep blue waters of the open sea. And what is the tropical rainforest, Antoinette? Excellent. Tropical rainforests are very dense, warm, and wet forests located in the band of the equator, mostly in the area of Tropic of Cancer. Its biome consists of close-growing trees and other plants. Our topic for today is about interactions among living things in coral reefs and tropical rainforests. Before we discuss our new topic, we'll have first a game. Who would like to play some games? For good, all are interested to play the games. This game named Complete Me. I will group you into two and you will make a collage about the interactions among living things in an ecosystem. I will give you the pictures, but there is a one picture that you need to add or you will guess what picture is missing. That is why the game named Complete Me. You have only one minute to answer the activity. So students, are you ready? Very good. For those students who will participate, will be given a plus points. Again, all students are ready to play. Very good. Okay, you can start now. The two groups get the correct answer. That was an excellent class. Did you already know the game that we had? What is the interactions among living things in coral reefs? May? Very good, May. The corals that form the framework of the coral gardens are not plant. They are built with the exoskeletons of corals composed of calcium carbonate or lime accumulate in large quantities. They serve as habitat for marine animals such as fish, crustaceans, mammals, mollusks, nidarians, Echinoderms and sponges, the different population make up a marine community. And what is the interactions among living things in tropical rainforest? Donalyn. Very good, Donalyn. Interactions occur among species in the forest ecosystem. The trees, shrubs, and grasses are producers in the forest ecosystem. They provide food for the primary consumers or herbivores and the primary consumers or carnivores living in the ecosystem. So, we have discussed everything about the interactions among living things in coral reefs and tropical rainforest. Again, class, what's the interactions among living things in coral reefs? Hmm. Excellent! The corals that form the framework of coral gardens are not plants. They are built with exoskeletons of corals compound of calcium carbonate or lime accumulate in large quantities. They serve as habitat for marine animals such as fish, crustaceans, mammals, mollusks, nidarians, echinoderms, and sponges. The different populations make up a marine community. How about the interactions among living things in tropical rainforest? Excellent! Interactions occur among species in the forest ecosystem. The trees, shrubs, and grasses are producers in the forest ecosystem. They provide for the primary consumers or herbivores and the primary consumers or carnivores living in the ecosystem. Before we formally end our discussion, I want to know if you really understand the lesson. 
What is the importance of coral reefs and tropical rainforests? Very good class. All of you get learned from our... Coral reefs protect coastlines from the damaging effects of wave action and tropical storms and provide habitats and shelter for many marine organisms are the source of nitrogen and other essential nutrients for marine food chains, assist in carbon and nitrogen fixing, and help with nutrient recycling. The tropical rainforests all over the world have immense importance as they provide a life support system for the planet as well as goods and services to the people who live in the rainforest. Life Lessons A good teacher will teach you that it is common to keep making mistakes as they are the best ways to learn. It's only human to make mistakes and they are contribute considerably towards one's overall personal development. Making mistakes will teach you to be humble, help you discover who you are, and live a life without regrets. Mistakes in the end will provide excellent learning opportunities. For your next activity, the same two group and each group will list down the living things that exist in each ecosystem. Well done students, all your answers are correct. Now you have an idea about coral reefs and tropical rainforests. The answers from the group one, which is the coral reefs, these are the living things. Crab, crab turtle, fish, clams, and lobsters. Well, the second group, which is tropical rainforest, the living things are insects, which are the butterflies and beetles, arachnids, like spiders and ticks, amphibians, like frogs and toads, reptiles, like snakes and lizards, birds like parrots and toucans. To test your understanding and knowledge on the lesson, let's have first a short quiz. Every environment contains what are called biotech or living things and the biotech non-living things factors. These biotech factors may be plants, animals, or other organisms, while a biotech factors may include rainfall, temperature, sunlight, length of day, soil, water substrate, nutrients, oxygen, and carbon dioxide. The interactions between biotech and biotech factors form an ecosystem. Survival of the living organism in an ecosystem depends upon their adaptability to both the living and non-living elements within its community. Symbiosis is a term describing any relationship or interactions between two dissimilar organisms. The specific kind of symbiosis depends on whether either or both organisms benefit from the relationship. There are types of symbiotic relationship. First, mutualism. Mutualism is a biotic relationship in which both species benefit. Second, commensalism. Commensalism is a symbiotic relationship in which one species benefits while the other species is not affected. One species typically uses the other for a purpose other than food. Third, parasitism, in which one species, the parasite, benefits while the other species, the host, is harmed. Some parasites live on the surface of their host. Others live inside their host. Fourth, predation. Predation is the consumption of one living organism, plant, or another animals. It's also known as the predator-prey relationship. Last, competition. is when an organism com competes with both members of the same species and with other species for resources, food, hiding places, to avoid predators, and to protect their young territory or nest. For the first part, direction. Complete the paragraph. Choose your answer from the words given below. Write your answers in one whole sheet of paper. And for the second part, direction. Complete the paragraph below and write it on the one whole sheet of paper. You are very excellent for today class because all of you get the correct answers.
To widen and explore your knowledge and ideas for today's lesson, you will have an assignment. That was all for today, class. Hope you enjoy. Thank you and goodbye.